hey guys welcome to a new video um, this video is again a bit more in real time today is Saturday and this video is gonna be uploaded on Tuesday so yeah this is kind of like present day I'm currently in Taiwan I'm living on the countryside as you can see behind me this is kind of like what I call home now which is really strange <laughs> but anyways um, the next series of videos are going to be my first time in Taiwan which was in March last year and I kind of wanted to preface that series as um, the videos that are going to be uploaded don't really provide a whole lot of context of the whole trip so that's why I want to kind of make this little um, yeah talk video also show a bit of footage that um, are from times that I wasn't really vlogging but I was still kind of taking pictures and stuff like that of my experience in Taiwan which was definitely interesting um, first of all maybe you're wondering why in the world Taiwan because as it's known in the news it's not a very safe country because of the threat from nearby China now the reason is that I had a Mandarin Chinese class way back in high school um, so I actually learned uh, I would say like the basics of uh, Mandarin Chinese and I really like that skill because it would probably come in handy as China is like becoming like a global economy so knowing a bit of Chinese would maybe provide me with uh, opportunities in the future. Now after high school I didn't really do a whole lot with Mandarin Chinese. I kind of didn't really practice for a long time as I was busy traveling. Uh, but when Covid hit um, I had a bit of time on my hands and I decided to open up an app called Duolingo and on there you can kind of learn languages basically and I started to do Chinese again. And I'm really starting to enjoy it. Like I was getting a lot of practice in every day and I was starting to get better. Because I already had like uh, exposure to this language at a pretty early age, uh, I was able to really learn those fundamentals really well. So it was very easy for me to pick it back up after such a long period of time. And I think after about like a couple of months of learning, I started to gain a bit of momentum. I even started to watch some like videos in Chinese. And I was thinking, I really want to like, nail this language right now like I really want to learn it to the point where I can talk to local native speakers but in the Netherlands that is a pretty hard thing to do as there aren't that many native Mandarin Chinese people or I guess there are quite a lot of them in the Netherlands but I just didn't really have anyone in my circle so the only solution I really saw was to travel to a Mandarin speaking country now at first I, I, I had China in mind like China was kind of like the first destination I wanted to visit but with the political situation going on and also with like the visa situation going on with COVID, there was a very slight possibility that I was going to be able to go there. And also I started to watch a lot of like Chinese Mandarin videos on YouTube. And because YouTube is blocked in China, a lot of the videos that I came across were from Taiwan. So at some point I became like really interested in, uh, in Taiwanese culture as it's quite distinct from Chinese culture. So I started to go a little bit crazy. Like I was writing pages in like this book to like learn every character that I didn't know. Like I would write down, like if I came across a sentence with like one character I didn't know, I would write down the whole sentence, write like the pinion below it, which is like the phonetic uh, version of that, of that character and the English translation for that specific character or combination of characters that makes a word. And I, I started to really get a bit obsessed. Like I was just doing this day in, day out after work. I was just like focused on learning Mandarin Chinese. And the travel itch was starting again. So at some point I was looking at visa situations. Now this was still in the COVID period. And Taiwan was like in the longest lockdown ever. It was actually quite funny as I had all of the, like I had all of the information for the visa prepared beforehand, uh, which was for the working holiday visa. And this was in May of 2021. So I was like about to submit all of this data when Taiwan was getting hit with their first like real COVID wave. And as of, up until that point, it was a pretty open country actually. Like I didn't have a whole lot of restrictions. But after that wave, they went to like crazy lockdown. Like visas weren't given out anymore. Um, huge quarantine times, like you had to be like in a quarantine hotel for like three weeks. For me, it was basically no opportunity to go there anymore uh, on this plan which was just like to take this working holiday visa which meant that I could work there if, there if I wanted to but I didn't necessarily have to. So yeah that didn't really work out at the time. Uh, I made a few other travels like I traveled to Switzerland, I traveled to Svalbard and I traveled to Spain which are all the videos that you've seen just before this one. 
um, but all during this time I was kind of waiting for Taiwan to open up. Even at some point I, I decided to change my plans because the working holiday visa wasn't opening up anytime soon. But there was another way in which was via a student visa. And that visa was starting to kind of like open up, like they were starting to accept uh, students again, like international students. But most like, but in the beginning was only um, uh, on a scholarship, and I didn't have a scholarship because I wasn't a real student. Like <laughs> my plan was to basically sign up for like a Chinese language course, so it's not really like a study; it's more like a three-month course. Uh, and with that, you can go to Taiwan on a on a student visa, so to say. So I did that. I I found a university. Uh, I found uh, Cheng Kong University in Tainan. I'm not exactly sure why I chose that place um, because like everyone is going to Taipei if they're going to Taiwan or most people are going to Taipei. But I was kind of feeling adventurous and I was like, I don't really know this place Tainan, but it has a lot of interesting like history and culture. Uh, and, there's, and there's a huge food scene here. So I was getting really interested in Tainan and I was like, you know what, why not? Let's just, let's just go there. Uh, also at the time it was winter and like Taipei in the winter can get pretty cold, but like Tainan which is like down in the south of Taiwan uh, tends tend to stay a little bit hotter during the, the winter season in the end I didn't go in winter I went in spring so it was like crazy hot in Tainan already <laughs> so yeah in, in March of 2022 I finally was able to go to Taiwan I really wanted to like pick up the videos again I wanted to open TikTok I, I wanted to do a bunch of stuff but I noticed pretty quickly that like life with um, a study and also still doing my job like my programming job that I had been doing for the past two years uh, I still want to keep the, I still wanted to keep that up but I was just proven to be way too busy so that's why I wasn't really making any videos uh, in the beginning of the trip and yeah I would say the whole experience was kind of mixed like I would say that I due to the anticipation of waiting for so long I had a certain expectation on it and I wasn't really ready for first of all living abroad again after such a long time also there was a little bit of like a culture shock and i think just the whole like expectation of being able to do this language course which turned out to be like a lot harder than expected and also the stress of finding an apartment and also because i didn't really know anyone so like i also had to make time to make friends you know so there was just a lot going on at the same time and it sort of made the whole experience a little bit um, like at some point I was like even close to burnout, you know, so it was it was it was getting a bit hairy at some point and Yeah, and that's why I decided to pull the trigger and actually go back to the Netherlands I actually made a live stream just after I came back from Taiwan uh, In September last year if you want to check that out. It's a very long live stream But in there I kind of touch up on uh, the points that I'm quickly touching on right here uh, but there is a silver lining to the story and that is that I uh, met my current girlfriend, Shania. I'm still with her, we've been together for a year now and we've been together for, very happily. Like I'm really enjoying this relationship with her um, and that's also the main reason why I'm right now back here in Taiwan <laughs> as we are living together in uh, a town called Minxiong. And this place is out there guys, like Tainan was a pretty big city with like 2 million people Minxiong is a is a town, you know, like look, look look around like there's just countryside There's no foreigner in sight here Actually, that's not true. There are a few foreigners around. I have seen them around here uh, And the reason that she's living here is because her university which is Tongzheng University is like pretty close by You can actually almost see it like the buildings over there on that hill not on the mountain like just just before the mountain. That's where um, That's where her university is and so yeah, we've been living like kind of like the countryside Taiwan life and strangely enough, I'm really loving it right now. <laughs> like it's actually really fine because this is kind of like a university area. So there's a lot of students around, which means there's actually a lot of like these study cafes. Um, there's also a Starbucks really close by and even a very nice gym. Like I've been working out pretty regularly here and so far I've been really enjoying it. Um, working out, working on these videos mostly um, as well as my, my job uh working as a as a web developer so anyways i think that's about it for this video uh what you can expect in the next video will be will actually not be in tainan it will be in hualien me and my girlfriend um we had already been dating for i think about a month at this point um i had two weeks off from the study this was like in between semesters 
and so we did a little trip to Hualien and Taipei. So that's where the next videos are going to be. Then I do have a few videos from Tainan and of course the big bike trip that I did in Taiwan. I cycled from Taipei to Taitong in, uh, along the east coast which was really really beautiful. Uh, and those videos are, are going to be coming up after these videos. So um, yeah, look for it. Uh, see you all in the next video on Friday. Please like the video if you liked it. Please leave a comment down below. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in the next video. See you later. Bye bye.